Hi, this is the second video in the playlist where we're looking at Venn diagrams. So this is the second part where you need to really just be aware of how these Venn diagrams are presented and the kind of questions that you're going to be asked before we start actually looking at numbers. So in this particular case, we've got showed the region that represents the probability of not A and not B. And if you remember in the previous video, this here I remember as and, okay, so, and this little dash here means not, okay, so it's not A and not B. So people who don't like apples and don't like bananas, and that's going to be represented by the rest of the people within the um, information that we're representing. So we would just simply shade that in, and that would give us then all of those people. Okay, hope that's all right. We're gonna move on then to question number five. Now this is probably where it's just getting a little bit trickier. So we've got shade the re uh, region that represents the probability of not A union B. Okay, so let's have a look at that. So not A, this is not A, and this is union B. Okay, well, those are all the people that are represented in the not A category. So that's all of these people here, okay? But we're going to allow the union with B and everyone else as well. So we can actually shade everything apart from the people that are not A, or rather apart from the people that are within the A group okay so it's just a little bit trickier to kind of remember these sorts of things but that's basically what we're looking at with these types of questions okay so again we've got a very similar situation in question number six and this is going to be the last example in this particular video where we've got shade the region that represents the probability of a and not B. Okay, so if it's A but not B, it's going to be the people within this region, okay, that don't really have anything to do with B. Alrighty, so that's going to give us the, the core principles. These past two videos, so the, the one before this and this video as well, gives us the core principles. And in the next video in this particular play, we're going to start looking at how we use Venn diagrams um, with actual numbers and uh, data. I hope that's okay. Please do add a comment below if you're not sure about anything. I'll always come back to you. Please subscribe to the site and I look forward to seeing you inside the next video.